evening everybody welcome to another session of the q a live stream on youtube with me leon bartrop where i help you with your carp fishing questions and queries to put more fish on the bank for you i hope everyone's okay just wait a little while while a few people come into the stream because we've only just gone live Hi Dan Williams, hope you're well. Evening Cranky Carpers, evening Carl. Gray on the Dodge Green, evening. Evening Danny Gleed, evening Lee Patio, Lewis McGuire, Phil Adams, evening gents, hope you're well. 42 of you in the house already. Don't forget guys, if you haven't subscribed already, if you're watching this on playback, don't forget hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification, then you'll get notifications of all my videos and the live streams. So you won't have to go finding them, you'll get notified automatically. It only takes one bite. Evening Chew from Holland. Welsh Carbin. Rods are on the dance floor, Michael Pierce, exactly. Gareth Price, good to see you. That carp, good to see you as well. Should always go back to basics, that carp. Always go back to what is, you feel confident in, what's worked for you before. You, of course you can get a Kent shout out, shout out to Anthony Wagon. Evening, evening Michael Price. Josh Norton, yep I'm fishing, look guys, I'll give you a little. Here we go, look, the rods are on the dance floor. Not seen nothing though, blankety blank checkbook and pen at the moment. Brian Mills, good to see you. Paul McArdle, good to see you as well. How is everyone tonight? Anyone else out fishing this Tuesday night? Danny Gleet says, can you recommend a good spot marker rod? Uh, I use the Fox Horizon SPOM um, and the Fox Horizon marker rod. Very good rods. Evening, evening wildlife, evening big fish. Oh, it's going really quickly. The old ticker's going really quickly, I can't keep up with it. Good to see you, Tommy Atkins. That carp asked, Leon, do you rate PVA bagging on silt? Um, I rate PVA bags on the whole. Depends on the lake you're fishing, but you know, especially this time of year and going into winter, PVA bags can really come in at their own. Little parcels of food, some crushed up hemp in there, and you can crush up your boilies. Try and uh, put some hemp oil in there as well. Uh, you can, uh, you know, lots of attraction, but hardly any food. Just fish a pop up in there, or a bit of maize, or a bottom bait, a little dumbbell, something like that. Works really well in bags. John Panther says he's, has, he's got some floods there. So fishing is more or less impossible, yes? I bet it is, John. All right, we've got some royalty in the house. Adam Garland, wafter or wafter? Definitely wafter, isn't it, Adam? He speaks funny because he's from North, so you have, to, you have to bear with him, unfortunately. Adam Randall, good to see you as well. John Taylor, good to see you. No problem that carp. Joy Bradley, I Leon, have you fished Claygate Lakes in Kent? If so, any tips? Unfortunately, I haven't, Jay, but there may be someone on here who might be able to help you and answer your question for you. Joel Duck says, solid bags or stick bags? Um, all depends, really. I like using little sticks in the winter, little bits of attraction. Josh Norton, unfortunately, the carp dog's not with me this weekend. Well, this weekend, I mean, this session. Evening, George Anderson. Paul Nixon says, would you use shorter hook links this time of year? Um, it depends on how the carp are feeding, Paul. I like to use about 8 to 10 inches. I may bring that down to about 6 to 8 inches in the winter, especially if I'm in a PVO bag or a little stick. Depends. If I'm hooking them outside the mouth, then I lengthen the hook link and until... Or I short, sorry, I shorten hook link until I find the optimum length where I'm catching them inside the mouth. 
Michael Pierce is wafter. <laughs> the carp dog's not with me, unfortunately. Evening, Andy Greening. Evening, Gildris. Matthew Elm says, Hi, Leon. Love the video. Keep up the good work. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. It's a big community. It's not just me. It's all you guys answering the questions and putting your comments on the videos. Really appreciate it. And then everybody gets the gain from it. Gareth Price asks, have I fished in Shrewsbury? Unfortunately, no, I haven't, Gareth. Adam Garland, the father of everyone's baby. You've got that right there, Adam. Max JP says, all right, Leon, please tell me where you got your kettle engraver. I got it from Jamie Smith. Um, if you go onto his Facebook page, he does them there. I can't remember the name of the company, his company, but it's something like um, Carp Kettles, I think it is. Really good kettle. It's quite expensive, but the workmanship in them is brilliant. Yeah, I'll show, I'll show you mine. Look, probably can't see it with the glare. Fifty-eight of you in there. Give us a thumbs up, guys. Hit that like button. Robert Stafford says, "Doing a forty-eight hours on Friday, mate. Love it on a newish moon." Yep. Yeah, good luck, Robert. Let us know on the next live feed how you got on. Steve Paul says, Leon, wouldn't a PVO bag sink into soft silt and bury? Uh, this time of year, in the autumn, the natural goes, where it gets colder, the natural goes into the silt, and the fish will have their noses right in there, so I wouldn't worry about it. Trace 975, Rich, hi bud, new one from the south, just getting rigs ready for early morning. Oh, good, let us know how you get on. Good to see you, Roy Close, as well. Eng Malcolm, hi from Kent, what you want to know? How you doing? Gildris, Wafta, oh, did you hear that? I just had a single bleep on my middle rod. That's interesting. Maybe we'll have what we happened. Remember when I did a Zig live feed back in the spring, winter, and we had a, we had a bite live on camera, didn't we? Madness. David Dawkin, evening as well to you. Yes, I'm good, thank you very much. Damage report says, Sanders, day only tips other than get on the fish. First of all, I'd speak to the bailiffs because they know where the fish are all the time. And I'd probably fish little sticks or little bags into the silt. Cast them into the silt at this time of year, definitely. Kieran Styler, shout out to Mrs. Tony, who loves you on YouTube. Loving you right back. Big shout out to you, Mrs. Tony. Thanks for tuning in. Morgan Evans says, thinking of a new barrow, what one would you use in? Uh, I have the Fox Low Rider, I think it's called. It just suits the way I can load everything up. The thing I don't like about barrows is you can load them right up and then they fall over and they smash things. This Low Rider, I think Cartport would do a Low Rider type one as well. You load everything up and it never falls over. Lee Taylor says, when do I start putting magnets in your mix? Probably around about December, January time. <clears throat> David Dalton says, what rig and bait am I using? I'm using a D rig with a double bottom bait at the moment. No problem, Paul Nixon. Sides 11, any fish spotting advice? Harry Rocco. Just keep watching and watching and watching. This time of year, they tend to show themselves in the darkness. You'll see more in the darkness than you do in the morning this time of year. Springtime, you'll see them more in the morning. Summertime, you'll see them in the night and the morning. Jerome, good to see you as well. Hello from Holland. With the Andy Carp Dog is saying hello as well. Ronnie has a wafter rig. What do you think? Um, maybe work, but I, I think it's there's other rigs out there which are just as good, if not better, for a wafter. Namely the, the D rig. Fingers crossed for my session. Thank you very much, Andy. Brian Mills, if I'm searching the lake for fish with singles, I don't use PVA, reason being I don't want to leave patches or small around the lake. Mm, fair point. Evening, you kids. Any joy? No, no good. Look, just give a little look again. Look, it's coming up to dusk now. Spud's here. Right, good to see you on here, Spud. He's a member of the syndicate as well. No, the, the lad in the wides didn't catch. A 
Lee Petro says, NGT carbon stick. Thanks for the video on that one. Pleasure. Uh, I was buying one, so I've looked at a few different ones, and for the money, 30, 35 quid, I don't think you can go wrong with that one. Then black chickens, I've seen the odd one, Adam Randall. Seen the odd one around here. But I've got my black chickens t-shirt on, so I don't tend to get any grief for one of them on. Don't forget, guys, if you want one of them black chicken t-shirts, in all the sizes, all the colours, get over to my website. And there's plenty on there, and the black chicken mugs as well. Evening, Keith Oakey. How are you? No, not Keith Oakley, is it? It's Keith Oakey. Good to see you, Keith. I'm sorry about the confusion with your name. Josh Norton said, What's the biggest English carp you've had, and is it a 50 plus from Reading? Yes, it is, Josh. That carp says, Do you rate Sissy more baits? Yes, very good baits. Most baits will catch, guys. It's just what you have confidence in. Matthew Taylor. Good to see you. He's loving the channel. Yep, and he smashed his PB recently on his last outing. Well done, Matthew. Good for you. Gareth Price, bleep, bleep. Fingers crossed for me session. Thank you, Andy. No problem, Darren Hall. That's what I'm here for. I'm here to answer your questions, help you, or some of the other guys in the group will answer your questions as well. Don't forget, we have a brilliant closed Facebook group called It Only Takes One Bite. Get yourself over there, apply to come into the group, we'll let you in, and then you can ask as many questions as you like. I answer some of the questions, but the guys in there are very knowledgeable as well. It's a big, big community, and we help each other. No problem, Max JP. Evening, the Welsh carp catchers. Mick the Specimen Hunter, good to see you here. Neen Valley Kettles, I think, yeah, I think they do good kettles as well. Yo, Dr. Green, Carp Dog, he's not here, Adam Wally. Dave Torrick said he got the NGT throwing stick from Go Outdoors, it's spot on. Good for you. See, guys, what you've got to understand is I don't give any, of, any advice to sell kit. I give advice because it works. Gildress went to Shumba Lake in Croatia, he had a PB of 49 pound. Using tips and tricks from myself, brilliant. Good to hear that new PB Gildress. Would love to come to Lake Shum Shumba in Croatia. Oh, it's on my bucket list. Daz Smith is saying Leon is looking for a, to book a carping holiday for next year in the UK. There will be six to eight of them going. Any ideas, mate? Not really. Um, I think there's a place in the Suffolk Water Park where you can book little chalets and all that type of stuff but I can't remember the name of it TFG do a good barrow Brian Mills yes I think they do Greg Smith says hi Leon can you tell me about the winter boy some non head knocked to my door and I missed it uh, for winter for a winter boily, what you're looking for is something which is highly digestible a, min, a maximum of about 5% fish meal, if it's got any fish meal in there at all, and it's got to be very digestible. Not only boilies, you've, you've got like maize, uh, tiger nuts, they're very digestible as well, uh, sweet corn, lots of things like that, which are good. Just make it digestible for the fish. Otherwise, what happens is if they eat a boilie which isn't digestible, it just gives them tummy ache and they don't feed for a couple of days, two or three days, and that might be the time when you're there. Cheers, Dave Dorgan. Good luck. 94 of you in there now. Guys, if you haven't pressed that like button, hit that like button, that thumbs up button. Evening, Matty Rushton. Jay Bradley says, Leon, any good theft and anti-theft alarms when fishing alone? Yes, the carp dog. Evening, Keith. Hi, Dingle. Ben Stevens says, what flavour baits do I use? I'm using a fish meal bait, a spicy red, Robin Red one at the moment. I'll probably use that for about the next month or so, and then I'll go on the highly digestible System X all season bait, which is like a, like a nutty sort of um, creamy type of bait. Dr. Green, Holland in the house, good to see you. German rig for wafter, yes, I'd say Ron, very good advice. 
what is a good but inexpensive barrow. Uh, have a look at the TFG one. I think that's quite inexpensive. Yeah, Ronnie Rig without the rig and putty called the German rig. Try that one, Matty, for bottom, for wafters and bottom base. Andy asks, have I ever used the Fox Spod? What do I think? I haven't. I use Spoms. Sean Rowland, Sanders, Frank Rizzo, good to see you in here as well. Evening. German rig for gel two. Joel, Joey Duck says, casting the showing fish, do you lead around or feel for the donk? I just try and just do one, if I've got fish in front of me, I just do one cast on each rod. If I get a donk, that's even better, but if not, I just leave it there. The Badger says, evening Leon, hope your session goes well. He's off to Belgium next week, taking hemp and snails after they've been bashed with boilies all year, what do you reckon? Yep, I mean, go with something different. I like being different to normal people. It's like tonight, I'm fishing double baits. Most people fish single baits. I just like to be um, a bit different. Mick Specimen Hunter said, what's for food tonight? Well, I've got one of Mrs. B's special homemade curries. It's an absolute, oh, she does make the best curries out there. 102 people in here now, guys. If you haven't pressed that like button, hit the like button, show some love. Leon, how would you deal with the planes at Horton? Off next week for a late autumn campaign catch and run job. Uh, the planes are a pain. Planes are a pain, aren't they? But I tend to, when I fish there, I just tend to get used to them. Sean Rowland says, you want to bring out white chicken, the gulls at Sanders? <laughs> yep. The old white chicken, the old flying rats, I call them, Sean. Jake Douglas says, fluorocarbon or, or braid for your D-rigs? Fluorocarbon. I'm using a fish mill bait, Paul Nixon, at the moment, till about November when I swap over to an all season type, highly digestible bait. Evening, Brad Smith, good to see you. Billy Eden says, Evening, Leon, he's noticed that recently my buckets always seem to have a plastic bag on the inside of your buckets. What's the reason for this? I'll tell you the reason for this. If you look at one of my videos uh, about how to pimp up your bait, what I do is I get double, I double bag a um, a kilo, a couple of kilo boilies, I pour in some hemp oil, or some salmon oil, or some swim stem, give it a good coating, and then I add a couple of spoonfuls of green lip muscle and liver powder, and that's why I've got the bags like that, rather than just in a bucket. So it keeps all the moisture in and sucks it all in. Let's have, a, let's have another quick look as, as it's getting dusk. Look. Here we go, it's starting to get dust now. Look at that, beautiful evening for it. Let's just hope we've got some fish coming our way. Adam Garland says, good feed mate, although I'm disappointed there's no music or strobe lights, we'll have to get out for social soon. Yes, definitely Adam, definitely this winter, maybe Willow Lake again up in Cambridge. I'll leave, the, I'll leave it to the Don to do all the strobe lights and rave music. Evening Cheshire Carper. Matty Rushton, yep, exactly. Ever use liquidised bread in my stick mix? Something that works nicely for me. Yes, Morgan Evans, liquidised bread. You can put anything you want in there. Go to the supermarket and have a look. Mix it with your dedicated stick mix. There's loads of stuff you can put in there. Toasted sesame seed oils, another very good one for glugging your baits in the winter. Let us know how you get on, George Anderson. Owen Ambrose, good to see you. He's got a five-day session coming up in October on Nash Snakes for his stag do. Good for you, Owen. Let us know how you get on. Uh, Leanne Grenville, well, Dingle says, what size boilies am I using tonight? I've got double 15 millers on. Hi, Derek Smith. Life system's a good winter babies. It's very digestible. Citrus boilies are good, they're very digestible as well, Roy. Leon, did you do a camera vlog last night? If you did, I missed it. Not last night, I did a, um, a vlog from my house on last Saturday night. 
This is another live one straight from the bank tonight. I'd love to go to the US to fish Kevin Z. Love to. Evening, evening, Scoff and Jensen. Hi, Tony Hustler. Hope you're well, mate. Hope it's good up in Peterborough. What barrel would I recommend? For me, I use a low rider by Fox. Foster's Carp TV, good to see you in here. Good to see you, Dave Fisher. Fine. Wayne has finally caught me live. That's the first. Keep up the good work. Good to see you here, Wayne. Well, um, Billy Martin says, Oi, oi, Leon, I hope you don't see Terry Wogan tonight. Well, I'm afraid it looks like Terry Wogan is on the cards at the moment, so I haven't seen nothing. Paul Nixon, giving you a shout out. Thumbs up. Mark Nuffy th for those. I think I hope I've got that right. Evening Leon, best maggot rig. I like to use a Medusa rig. Yep, good to see you, Brad Assetier. Good to catch up as well. Tony Hustle says, if a lot of the guys are piling the bait in, would you fish less or more bait? I'd probably fish singles over the top of their bait. Dave Fisher says, what hook would I use for the multi-rig? Uh, I use big size four chod type hooks. If you go onto my YouTube channel, there's a video there all about the multi-rig. Billy Eden says, Leon, can you tell me what made you use a double bottom bait and which scenario would it best suit? I'm using it with a D-rig and the reason I've used it is because everyone else is using single baits as far as I can tell. So I want to be a little bit different, plus it's a lot heavier for when when that when that a uh, lot heavier the bait so it falls back into the mouth it's a lot more for them to get rid of as well Wayne says how about a video about cooking on the bank and that sort of thing maybe Wayne Sean Mulqueen good to see you mate Liam Burns says, Leon, any tips on rods? I need to get some myself some new ones. Depends what your budget is. Darren Thompson, good to see you. Yep, ready for the bum burner in the morning. <laughs> Jack Revel says, hi mate, how would you approach a week's long session in France? The lake is well stocked, but only five acres. All depends on how much bait the guys the week before. Always when I go to France, I always go in light. The first night or two, I go in light with just a scattering of bait because I don't know what's already out there which the fish haven't eaten. Joel Duck asks, Hi Leon, what do you think about the RK Leisure Complex? Um, I think it's, it's great, it's a great complex. Thank you, Jerome. Andy, hello from Germany. Did you ever fish there? I've never fished in Germany. I've been there a couple of times working. I haven't caught anything yet, Darren. The rods are on the dance floor. Harry Ingham, hello. Any bites? Nothing yet. Harry, good to see you here. Morgan Emma says, do you think it's true that when a carp has a curtain in the roof of its mouth, it has never been caught before? No, I've I've caught plenty of fish that have still got the, the curtain in the roof of their mouth, and I know they've been caught before. Yep, Mark Nutty Loafers, thanks, have a good way, and you as well. Paul Butterworth, what bed do I use? I'm using a Witchwood uh, Compact at the moment, but as soon as it gets a bit colder, about November, October, November time, I'll be using a Fox... Um, Flatliner, a bit more comfort. Mick Specimen Hunter says, what's the best bait for cats? I'm fishing cat rig lakes with one big cat in the lake. Uh, they love fish mill boilies, Mick, but also I'd have another rod on some of them, I think 30 mil drilled out pellets. They love pellet and oh as well. Show us your swim, here you go, Dave. I'll give you another little look, just for dark. There we go, look, look at a bit of sunset there. Hope you like that. Roy Close says, have I ever used blue cheese as bait? I have for Chubb many years ago. Maxima Flinthus says, have you had bad hookings with long shank hooks? Is it the hook or the angler? Um, I haven't had any 
bad hookings with long shank hooks, things like long shank nailers, then yes, you can. It, I've seen double hooked or the problem is it's when it's in the net, you have the problem. Gareth Price says, any vintage you fishing in France? Yes, some of my earlier ones I did. I'm, there's some videos on my channel. Scott Evans says, how are the black chickens and flying rats tonight? Well, there's the odd black chicken and the flying rats. I've not been able to put any bait out. So after I finish this live feed, I'm going to put some bait out with a stick when the flying rats have gone to bed. Scott Evans says, is the carp dog with me? He's not with me this week. Have I ever fished at Willow Park? If so, what lake did I fish? Many, many, many years ago I fished Willow Park. Uh, if it's a runs water type water, if I remember rightly. Nice, it was, we caught a few in the winter. Carp Mad Gav Cross says, Hi Leon, do you believe carp munch more at this time of year, ready for winter or is it a myth? They can do it, all depends. They can munch, but it may not be on our baits, it may be on naturals a lot more. Michael Pierce has just had a liner. I wish I could have a liner. Billy Eden says, Leon, I bought the rhino being based on your advice, but haven't managed to use it yet. Would you suggest using, using it, producing a better image both day and night? I use it for my night shots. In fact, I use two to get an even spread of light, and I use it for, like, if I've got a bite now, just on dusk, I'd use the beam then. I don't tend to use it at, um, in the daytimes, because I rely on natural light. Harry Ingham says, do I fish any waters in Kent? Uh, I fished this spring, I did a load of videos on Wingham Lake. Luke Decourt Settle says, I love your vids. Mate, you really inspire me to go fishing more. That's what it's all about. If I, if I can help you, inspire you, you know, you enjoy, you get some value out of my videos and these live feeds, then, you know, that I'm buzzing for that. Maximus said, oh, Danny just gave the thumbs down. Yeah, I'm, I'm afraid so. <laughs> good on you, Graham. He says, good evening, as I'm going to watch Leicester versus Liverpool. Good for you. Let's hope Liverpool win. Brett York says, hi, Leon. What's your views on day sessions versus overnighters? Depends on the lake you're fishing. Uh, day sessions make you more active and more eager to get a bite. Where if you're doing overnighters, you're more likely to settle for somewhere that you you haven't seen any fish. Good luck, Billy. Hope you uh, hope you land a fish. He's on an overnighter before work. There's dedication. Billy Eden says, "Have I ever fished any of the lakes in the Bluebill Complex? Uh, I did many many years ago for a magazine feature, uh, but we blanked." Leon, where do I get my bags of hemp from? Uh, I've got a really good video on my channel about how to make chili hemp the easy way. But I always get my hemp from uh, animal animal feed places like farm shops. One of five in the house. Yeah, it's great, isn't it, Derek? Good to see everyone. <laughs> Graham the Dodge Green says, piss off. You must be a Leicester supporter. Yeah, exactly, Luke. It's what it's all about, helping and growing this great YouTube community that we got. No, Wingham Lake is a syndicate lake, Sean. Cheshire Carpet says, what hook link do I use as a good all round? I use lots of different hook links. Um, Atomic Jelly Wire, that's a good hook link. I used, I used something similar, I used the other Jelly Wire by PB Products for my multi-rigs, but they're more or less the same, I think. Wayne says, do you agree with dropping the lead as one company rams down their throats? Personally, I think it's a bad idea, so lakes will no longer have natural bottoms but lead ones. I think if you're fishing a very weedy water, then you've got to eject the lead. Because you're going to land more fish and it's a lot safer for the fish as well. Evening the carp guru, good to see you here. Scott Evans says, what, what are the best tips for recovering from a busy night of fishing when at work the next day? Red Bull. That's all I can say is Red Bull, Scott. Oh, thanks for letting me know. I'm just going to... Here we go, look. I've just put the light on. Cheers, Graham. Appreciate that. Just put the light on so you can see me. Didn't realise it was getting so dark. I'm looking at all the comments... 
Maximus says anywhere near Rochester for day ticket fishing, working away the next few weeks and will need his fix. Uh, I don't know if anyone on here can help you or come over to our, if you're not already a member, to the close Facebook group. Ask the question on there. It only takes one bite is the Facebook group. Come over and get yourself in there. Hi, Sean Mulqueen. Good to see you here, mate. You need to get out fishing, Sean. Yep, catch you next time, Carl. Thanks for being here, mate. Appreciate it. Bit too much glare now. Oh, we can have, we can have the red. It's gonna have to be like that, I'm afraid. It's gone like Babe Station. Well, I wish, Ben. That'd be good, wouldn't it? Imagine that, and a little bit of chicken here, a little bit of Babe Station bird here talking to us as well. We get about five thousand people already, wouldn't they? Can I turn it back off? <laughs> Frank says, all right, Leon, what scales do you use? I use Ruben Heaton ones. You know, they're a dedicated scale company. You can't go wrong with companies that are dedicated makers of certain items. Sam Ward says, divers went into his lake and dropped a load of leads on the same spot and he couldn't find one. Doesn't surprise me, Sam. Evening, Tom Tommy Tucker, good to see you in here. Tommy Tucker says, Evening Leon, what power pack do you use to keep all your equipment fully charged? Funny you should say that, Tommy. I've just done a review, a video review, which should be up in the next couple of weeks, about um, a lovely little power pack, which is about 25 quid. If you're on a weekend or an overnighter, it's ideal with charging your iPhone and that. Watch out for that. If I'm going for a longer session, three or four nights, then I use the, the Ridge Monkey one. Turn it off again. We... I know I'm a good looking devil, Tony, but you know. Yep, here's got Moat Park at Maston is a good day ticket. There you go, Ron. I live about 10 minutes away from there, Ron. You're talking about a reflection from my head. Thanks, Scott. Look. Blinding you, I bet, isn't it, Scott? Curry dinner, yep, Andy, we've got a curry dinner tonight, courtesy of Mrs. B. A, do you realise, guys, with this great community we've got, not only on the close Facebook page and people asking questions and answering questions on all the videos that we do, but we've got 113 people in the house at the moment. Give yourself a good, a good pat on the back. Don't start twerking. <laughs> I'm going to be busy. Ah, oh, Mrs. B, don't mind. She knows what I'm like, Billy. I've been a doghouse. No. She's the best, Mrs. B. She really is. Barry Ingram says, Moat Park is dodgy at night, though. Best to go as a group. Yeah, I'd say... Um, yeah, it might be, but it's, it could be. Cop Mad Gavin Cross says, Cheers, Leon. Do you ever use particles as your main attack or are you just a boily kind of guy? 90% of the time, boily type of guy, but in the winter, I will use mostly particles and I'll put some chop baits in there and some small ones. I tend to go on like 12 or 10 millers. Scott Evans, you had the same problem as well. The Carp Guru says, What do you think about using groats as an alternative to maggots? I always use groats in the winter. I mix them and make them up with the hemp that I do in the cooler box. I've done a video on it. Check it out on my YouTube channel. And it, it sucks in all that lovely, beautiful hemp oil. And it, they're very visual and they caught, and they, the groats, you get a big, like, cloud of attraction. Only takes one bias says, do you already have fishing plans for the winter time? I should be doing a lot on the park lake, but also on Sandhurst as well. So if any of you guys are down there, come and say hello, have a cup of tea. Come and see the carp dog if you're down there this winter. Ben Stevens says, what lakes a good day ticket? Linear fisheries is good. Scott Evans really enjoys the vlogs. Hi Graham, hope you're well. Ron Busby says, loads of people night fishing Moat Park now with no problems. That's good to know, Ron. Thanks for letting us know. George Anderson, good to see you. Now there's 120 of us in here. Now, I believe that's as much as Fox get on their live feeds. 
Michael Pierce says, Jim Shelley has just gone live now. That's me on the spot. I think I'll stay here. <laughs> is he live on Facebook, is he? All oh, right, okay. Boom, Graham Rowland. Good to see you, mate. What park lake you on in the winter? I think this one in Reading I'm on. Wellington Country Park. Derek Smith, good to see you. There's now 127 of us in the room on YouTube Live. Brett York says, do you ever fish in Suffolk? Um, no, I, unfortunately, I've never fished in Suffolk. Uh, I'd like to go and fish that Suffolk water park. That, that'd be a good one. Who is Jim Shelley? I don't know, Wayne. I have no idea. Bless him, Michael Pierce. Come to Wales, Leon. Uh, Maximus, I'll tell you what. I'll let you in a little secret now. My grandmother was Welsh. I'm quarter Welsh for my sins. Morgan Evans is going to go predator fishing. Good for you, Morgan. I might have a little bit of drop shotting for some perch as well. Birmingham says, have I ever fished the Tombridge waters? That's his local club water. No, but there's some lovely fishing there, isn't there? EastEnders is on, Sean. Oh, blimey, that's no good, is he? You're going to have to go off and watch it, aren't you? <laughs> Michael Pierce with the Ton Up Club. Yeah. 130 people in here now. How crazy is that, guys? Carp Dog is brilliant, Lawrence Lancaster. Good to see you. But he's not with me, unfortunately. Otherwise, you'd see him lying there. Well, you wouldn't see him. He'd be in the bed, wouldn't he? Billy Oakley says, being an angler, you've got to have a good wife. And he's got one. I've got one as well, Billy. Brian Mills says, fuck his tenders. I'll make you right. Mark Dean, Kodak. Very accomplished, famous angler. Laser pen. He's going to send me a laser pen soon. And I'm going to do a review on it and give you a link to him so you can get them because they, they are quite good laser pens, I've been told, for getting rid of the old black chicken, especially this winter. Don't mention the special ones on Anglesey. Michael Pierce, that is where I used to live in Anglesey for a few years. I was based up there when I was in the military. Sod EastEnders, yeah, well, I agree, Barry. Graham Rowan says, question, how do you deal with rain overnight? Waterproof for fast access. What I tend to do, Graham, is if I get a bite, I just get out and I hit it and I have a spare T-shirt and something else in, in my bag with me. I don't tend to bother. If I've got a bite, I've got a bite. That's it, I'm out, I'm on it. Doesn't matter if it's raining or not. Carp dog don't do school nights. Free Spirit says, how do you make light dips a spray for corkball pop-ups? Well, there's a few little dips you can use uh, as a base. I would say get some tallin or get some toasted sesame seed oil, and then you can add your own flavours to that that you're using to match it up. Depends how good the laser pens are, Wayne. There's some real cheap and nasty and horrible ones out there. But I believe the ones that Mark Dean is going to send me, they are the dogs and nuts. Paul Webb, it's the first time he's here. Love your vlogs. Well, Paul, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit that bell notification. Guys, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, go over and hit that subscribe button when this feed's finished and you'll never miss any of these videos again. Plus, when I get to 5,000 subscribers, I'll be doing a subscriber giveaway. I might even do it seven and a half thousand, don't know yet. We've lots of prizes, so it's worth being a subscriber just for that, because you'll get the chance, because it will only be for subscribers, the chance to win loads of stuff, t-shirts, bits of kit, bait, everything. Bill Oakley says, I like the review on that, that light for a cap. Where can I get one? I did put a link to their website in the description of the video. The black chickens love the lasers and the water he's on, Robert Stafford. Heard Captain Jack's been out. I have no idea, Sean. Danny Glee, Kelly Kettle. Graham the Dodge Green. I'm at five and a half thousand now. Yep. Another two thousand to go. Seven and a half thousand. We'll probably do another giveaway, subscriber giveaway. Hi, Warren Clark. What do I do? Go fishing again tomorrow or stay at home with the missus and a screaming baby? Mm, I think that's fishing, Warren, don't you? 
Cheers, Wayne. Holby City's on soon. Oh, you have to watch that, Paul. Chris Glee says, Hi, Leon. He's just joined a lake that's dominated by bait boats. Fish seem to spook from leads and spoms, and I'm not going to use a bait boat. I tell, you, I tell you something, Chris. If everybody's using bait boats and those little parcels of food are going down, a single look bait or a scattering of bait, you will catch more. I'm telling you. Cheshire Carper has my session going. Blankety blank check my pen at the moment. Let's have a look. I don't know if you better see it. It's gone all dark. Look. There's the rods. There's a view. So normally, normally I'll be watching the water this time of night, but I'm doing the live feed so I can speak to you guys. Keith Ogley says he got his uni light yesterday, the one I've done a review on. If you haven't seen the review, guys, go and see that. I'll be doing a proper review, just dedicated on that soon. It's an awesome cat light. It's good, Keith Ogley, Ogley because... The reason is, this made by a dedicated company that all it makes is lights. Tommy Tucker, good man, Leon. Us exes always bring, just in case, gear of us everywhere. I keep telling my young fella, but he's learning the hard way. <laughs> Morgan M says, Sean Carr, I believe it was caught today over the British record, but the guy doesn't want to claim for the record. I think that's Captain Jack's been out, and I think it's over the British record. Maximus says he prefers a scatter to draw them in. I couldn't agree more with you, Maximus. Looks banging, it does, doesn't it? Now, here's a really good um, little tip for you that the carp guru has just posted up. He cooks his groats in condensed milk. The cloud is immense and sweet. There's a little tip for you guys. If you're thinking about adding groats, cooking them up into your spot mix this winter. Matt Arnold says, Hi, Leon. Going tomorrow after work for a few hours in the dark. Any tips? See if you can find them, mate. If you can find them, just put singles to them if you're only going for a few hours. Yep, Sean Castle, congratulations to him. And fair play, yep. No, we've got rid of Ali, but he's asking us to subscribe and everything else. No, we don't have sub for subs on here. Sean Saunders says, God bless the soaps. That's why the wife lets us go fishing so they don't have to watch, so they can watch them in peace. I agree. Andy's looking for a winter suit. Any tips? I use, um, I did a video on winter clothing. I'm going to do another one in the next two or three weeks about winter clothing and undergarments and things like that. If you go and have a look, on my YouTube channel, you should be able to see a dedicated video on there. The bats are flying, they certainly are, Michael. Yep, he's gone. Maximus, good to see you. Yep, Ali's gone. See you later, Ali. Cheshire Carp says, Sports Direct, do some nice winter gear. Yeah, and I believe it could be quite reasonable as well. Hi Phil Humphreys, good to see you here mate. Well actually Maximus, in the video I do model the Long Johns. Merino wool, that's the one. Merino wool socks and Merino wool uh, un under kit. David Dalton says his little boy, who's only three, loves watching this. Well it's a big fist pump to Dave Dalton's little boy. A little shout out to you. He's only three. Fisherman of the future. Morgan Emmers, do you know of any decent, not too costly winter boots, size 11 ish? <laughs> I don't know about the size 11 ish, Morgan. Um, I, I wear Burghouse, they're quite good. Thanks, Justin. Brian Mills says, hi, this fluors or washed out fluors, or does it depend on conditions? I normally use sticky bait signature washed out fluoros. If they work for you, Brian, then it's all a confidence factor. I like to have a, a white fluoro and a washed out sort of pink. 
and I'm going to be trying this year yellows because I don't see anyone using yellows. It's a bit of a forgotten colour, so we'll be trying them as well. Carby Chris says the M62 is his view for the moment. Sorry to hear that, Carby Chris. Evening, Colin Osborne. 134 of us in here. Don't forget, guys, if you haven't subscribed already to the channel, you may want to think about subscribing. If you are a subscriber, hit that bell notification and then you'll never miss any of these videos and any of the, these live feeds again. Especially if you're watching in playback, hit that subscribe button. Yes, Brian, wash that yellows this year, I think. That's going to be the colour for this winter. David says, David Taylor says, Hi Leon, love the vlogs. I'm struggling on my current lake. Would you stick it out or get some confidence on the runs water? I would go and get some confidence on the runs water, David, and then take that confidence back to the water you're struggling on. Lawrence Lancaster, Norwegian shirts for the winter. Couldn't agree more, Lawrence. Thanks, Carp Explorer. There you go, Barry. Hi, Ken. Good to see you. Mrs. Maximus is calling as I'm away from the Mora. No problem. Always good to see you in here, Maximus. Have a good trip. Michael Pierce, he's got a washed out yellow one on. Good for you, Michael. Let us know how you get on. School text lightweight, very good. Here's a little recommendation for you from Kieran Moulton. Nova Specials, they're good as well. I'm fishing under a Fox Super at the moment, moment Paul Butterworth. Yeah, couldn't agree with more Morgan Evans. It's proper carpy when your net's frozen to the ground at the end of your session. It's even more carpy when it's frozen in the middle of the night and you, and you get a bite and you try and land a fish. I've had that happen before. Flynn, given Ghana, I mate, just joined a new ticket with a nice lake. What I want to fish. Half the lake is weed and many gravel spots, and the other half is silty. No boilies, no plastic base, any tips. I would, if as it's coming up to the colder time of the year, I would probably, for the autumn, I'd go and fish the silt areas and then in the winter i'd go and fish in the weed because that's where it's going to be warmest hi ben hardin andy asked what do i think about hempel i love hempel it's my favorite oil of all time right guys mrs b is curry is calling so i'm going to wrap it up there i appreciate every single one of you guys tuning in and watching this even if you're watching on playback i appreciate it all a couple of things if you haven't already subscribed subscribe to the channel hit the bell icon that you see pop up then you'll be notified every time i load up a video or we go on the live stream second thing if you're not already a member of our closed facebook group called it only takes one bite get yourself over to facebook bring that group up apply to come in and there's loads and loads of good guys in there and give you great information about stuff ask any question you want in there and we're only too happy to help you don't forget also, my black chicken t-shirts are on sale and cup at my website, www.leoncarpa.com and I've got some new hoodies possibly coming and some new designs coming next week, so watch out for them. Good luck to all of you guys. Thanks for tuning in. Really, really appreciate it, and I'll see you for the next live feed. See you soon, guys.